You know what I want to start this interview with? The song I Walk Alone. Didn't you no. say that was your signature? <laughs> like if you had one signature song? I don't know no. why that just popped in my head. No, okay. no that was my theme music for the WWE. Yes. Yeah, now, is yeah. it still? Yeah, it still is. And I, I begged them. I wanted them a lot. You know, my last run, I went back and I wanted to update the music a little bit. And, it's just like no, it's iconic. Yeah, keep the saying come out because I had, <laughs> uh, you know, RZA from Wu Tang. There, him and Method Man were going to do something, put a hook to we, it. That's the last time we interviewed you. Was yeah, RZA. and I was like, man, oh, this. Is Why can't they great. remake it? Yeah. They put a little spin, a little. They just refuse. It was killing Can me. Can you man. rap? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you could try. You yeah, could try. No, they no. could do a little, you know, sound buffering uh, or whatever. It would be no good. So, have you been since the last time we saw you at Comic Con? Yeah. It was 150 <laughs> degrees the last time. <laughs> You're up I on like a rooftop. Sweaty, sweaty pits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually the only one with sweaty pits. Yeah. I have them no matter where I am. Yeah, it so hot. it was good to, you know, when other people yeah. are on the level with me. I saw um, Guardians of the Galaxy Friday mm. night. I'm just gonna say this on camera for the record. Mm. I would say Guardians of the Galaxy is like my top five favorite movies of all. Time. It's awesome. Just for you, I mean, obviously, such an incredible cast. I don't even believe you have a plan. I have part of a plan. What percentage of a plan do you have? You don't get to ask questions after the nonsense you pulled on Nowhere. I just saved Quill. We've already established that you destroying the ship that I'm on is not saving me. When did we establish? Like three seconds ago! No, I wasn't listening. I was thinking of something else. Oh. She's right. You don't get an opinion. Four month um, audition process, I heard. <laughs> yeah. yeah it was, it I was, mean, that's not nerve wracking. Yeah, I think it was about, yeah, a little over three months. And then it was even like a month and a half or two before I could actually acknowledge the people that oh, got so the part. Oh, so you knew. Are you yeah, good at they keeping secrets? Me, they had, yeah, and I, and I did. And, well, you have to sign your life away. But it was <laughs> brutal, man. Yeah, well, Marvel didn't play. And you I didn't don't want, want them do on anything, your ass. <laughs> and I didn't want to do anything to jeopardize losing the job. So, right, yeah. right. Yeah, so now I just. Right, you're like a vault. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so you know, like just sort of like the last audition, you've got one more to take me through. Like, how do you stay focused in that situation, not just be like sort of seeing like if I get this and thinking, you know, yeah. down no, the road. I mean, I, that was the thing was is like all along the process, it's like each time I went in, I felt like I got better. Like my performance has gotten better. We're getting better. I was getting more comfortable, and I was working with James, who I, you know, gotten to know. But at the same time, I was get emotionally involved in it. I was invested in it. Yeah, so, you get to know your character. Yeah, and then I like I'm reading all the internet rumors and you know Jason Momoa has been cast as Drax. Oh, and I'm, really? <laughs> but, so you're yeah, googling so I was it? Like, yeah, just oh, of course. Yeah, we were on it like every day. I was like, don't read into it. Just rumors. Don't worry about it. And I was like, yeah. So because I just I wanted the role so bad. How'd you find out? Uh, my agent. Well, actually, my best friend uh, and who's also my manager. He called me first. And he goes. He said, hold on, I got something to tell you. Brett's on the phone, I'm trying to get him on. And I was like, what's going on, what's going on? And I thought they were gonna, I thought he, he wanted both, I thought they wanted to break the bad news to me. But I was on my way to the gym, surprise, surprise. Yeah, so I pulled, <laughs> I pulled yeah, over. Yeah, I can and, tell you really let yourself go. I know, it's just a disaster. I never go to the gym. <laughs> uh, I pulled over and they told me and I just started screaming, screaming. And I said, is there any way can they change their mind? And they said, no, you have the You're part. locked. Yeah, yeah. You You're locked and, and loaded and ready to go. Yeah. Wasn't it something to do with like, a, didn't you have a reading with Chris Pat Pratt or there was like a chemistry or yeah. something that I think he, James said that that was sort of what clinched it, that sort yeah. of sealed the deal when he saw like the chemistry yeah. that you guys had. So are you having fun with this whole Hollywood thing? No. Is it catching on? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is kind of the weird stuff for me. Like I'm just, it's uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uncomfortable. To be is honest. it? Well, you've said yeah. before you're, you were really shy growing up. Yeah, real shy. I've come out of my shell um, a lot. You know, a lot. <laughs> okay. you know, WWE kind of dragged me out of yeah, my shell, but yeah. it's still like, it, it's weird, man. I get, especially when I'm doing things like press conferences and stuff like that, or any type like red carpet stuff. I just, I literally just want to crawl under a chair somewhere. And just, Do you have the red uh, carpet pose down now? No, and that's the thing. I never know. Like everybody's all cool and stuff, and I'm just like, you know, I feel all gangly. Can I give you a tip? Yes. Oh, I don't know if this is for girls or not, though. Girls do the whole, you know, you're supposed to do this. I could look ridiculous, but you're supposed to get three quarter with your body. Uh -huh. You want to do it with me? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> three quarter with your body, and you're supposed to stick your head up and your chin out and down. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That is the <laughs> and throw a little blue steel in there while you're at it. That's the secret to doing like I don't know if that's a guy thing or not, but yeah. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. So are you yeah. shy with girls too? Well, no, I have. I'm settled down. I mean, I know you're settled down, but yeah. when you sort of have that, does, does that make you feel shy? Oh, brutally shy. Really? Yeah. I only dated a few but girls. But chicks love that. Yeah. It makes them want you even more, which is a curse. Well, not when you look like a gorilla. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, no, I dated like Gentle a few Gentle giant. Girls, yeah. girls love that. I mean, I don't know, man. 
<laughs> Self-deprecating. I think too. they, yeah, I think they more like like guys more aggressive, more confident, and stuff like that. Yeah. Short term, but, maybe not long term. Maybe. How how do you think you're sort of your WWE? You know, obviously you guys are in incredible shape. You're incredibly disciplined. I know. I'm sure the set, long hours. Right. I know you went through hours and hours of makeup every day. Right. Sort of how does that? How did that prepare you in a way? That I mean, and that's what it was because you know, the, as far as performance goes, there really isn't much of a comparison other than you know a camera being pointed at you. But um, it is. I mean, when you are with the WWE, you pull your load, or you not with the WWE. I mean, you definitely develop a strong work ethic there. You don't complain about anything. Because same thing, they just don't put up with people who are high maintenance and complainers. You just you go and you pull your weight and you work your ass off and you make a living and or else you're not going to be there and they'll bring in the next guy and he will do what you were supposed to do. How do you sit in that chair for hours and hours and hours and then you still got to go to work? That's almost yeah. a full day. It was weird and it wasn't, it wasn't a chair, it was like a little perch that I kind of leaned on. Oh really? And like I a had, tiny, I'm picturing yeah, like a no, tiny like little... A, like a little saddle. It was like a little saddle that I leaned on and then I, they gave me these sticks with tennis balls. And are you, na you naked? Can I ask? Are you naked? Um, no, I had like, a, like sweatpants on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but, Sorry. Was, but there was like, yeah, it's one of those things where you just, um, you know, you can't have that an embarrassing element. You can just kind of let your inhibitions go because they're going to be pulling down your pants and stuff may or may not pop out, you know, <laughs> you know, like, like, you know they're, and they're not a shy bunch, you know, make up. No, no, they'll get in there. Yeah, your body is, will not, get in your there. body is not your own when you're, you're on set. You're just holding on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I had these sticks with, with tennis balls on them and I just, I, that's what I held on and, and they did their thing. And, when you do that, mm. I want to ask you advice. Because I'm not a big girl. I'm not a tough chick. No. How do I tim intimidate somebody without using my physical brawn? You oh. must know this about how to intimidate your yeah. opponent without using, without just using your physicality. No, and I don't think it's ever, it ever has to be that because I think some of the scariest people aren't like, you know who's scary to me? <laughs> and I just realized this like recently, like Benicio Del Toro is terrifying to me. <laughs> yeah, there's something about him that's very eerie. Like even when he's looking at you smiling, he's just looking at you like, yeah, yeah you just kind of feel like he's going right. to cut you up later. What is it you. about him? <laughs> I don't it's know. It's like he has he just, a secret. He just has a secret that he knows and you don't know, but you you might find out, but might not live to, to tell. <laughs> so there is, some, there is somebody that intimidates you. I yeah. love this. Well, it's just, you know, it's just, I think it is. It's something about, you know, a person's confidence or a person's look in their eye. You know, I don't think it's a physical thing at I'm all. I'm giving you that look. Yeah, because most of the guys, like, a lot of the guys, like, a lot of the big, tough guy, bodybuilder type guys, the biggest kind of intimidating guys. You know, I see and I meet and they're walking around, dirty looks on their face, and I'm looking at them like, I could break you in half. It'd take me like five <laughs> seconds to, to rip your arm off. You know, and that's, that's kind of, I, I joke Can with I myself. Can I around LA with me? <laughs> you know, I really those wanted, guys. Yes, uh, yeah. I really yeah. want you to mess with those dudes. Yeah, I would love I, to just walk around with you for an hour. Yeah, I think it's the scariest guys are the, probably the most dangerous guys are the guys who don't try to intimidate right. you. They could care less. With that's you. a metaphor for life, too. I think so. It's kind of true. Yeah, I think so. Thanks so, for coming in. This yeah, was great. Appreciate it. Can we go walk around LA now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, point out the guys who, are, who think they're tough guys or are not tough guys. All my ex boyfriends. Yeah. Can we just give them a little call? Yeah. Okay, stop just rolling do. now because uh, <laughs> Dave's going to call my ex boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs>